They're the stuff of pop culture legend. After getting married in 1984 and walking away from birth control on the advice of a Christian medical doctor, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar have gone on to become the co-heads of one of America's biggest families. The brood is made up of ten boys and nine girls, eight of whom are married and having children of their own. The Duggars are known for their strict religious beliefs, like courtship instead of dating, and no physical contact except for one-arm side hugs until the wedding day. Side hug would be when two people wrap their arms around each other and give each other a hug from the side. So you can probably expect that the Duggar kids won't be adopting the use of any birth control either. So far, that guess seems to be right on the money. This family has a lot of kids. Michelle and Jim Bob can expect to become grandparents many times over, and their children have so far managed to deliver. Oldest son Josh Duggar and Anna Keller, who were the first to tie the knot in September 2008 and then experienced a very public bad patch, are still together as of early 2020, along with their six children. John David and Abby Grace are seen as the rebels of the Duggar clan, since Abby may break with tradition and return to work after having her baby, according to Us Weekly. He married Abby in November 2018, and the couple had their first child, a girl, in January 2020. As excited as they are, Abby reportedly experienced a rough first pregnancy. Next up is Jill Duggar, who connected with Derek Dillard, all thanks to Dad Jim Bob. The Duggar patriarch served as Derek's prayer partner while Derek was traveling and doing humanitarian work. Jill and Derek married in 2014 and have two sons. Romper reports that Jessa Duggar and Ben Sewald met when Ben's family visited the Duggars' church in Arkansas and were invited back to their home. Michelle Duggar explained, Jim Bob was the initiator. I don't know if Jim Bob even knew that Ben was really interested in her, but he had already spotted Jessa. They started texting and talking about these scriptures, and things just took off. Cheat Sheet also says Jessa had spotted Ben at church but was reluctant to make the first move since she was older. But then the Duggar family opted to invite the Seawolds back to their house, and the rest is history. Jessa and Ben married in 2014 and have two boys and a girl. Jim Bob may have played a role in his elder daughter's relationships and eventual marriages, but it was Seawold who paved the way for Ginger to meet Jeremy Volo. Romper reports that Ben and Jeremy met at a fellowship and hit it off. Jeremy then asked Jim Bob for permission to court Ginger during a missionary trip. Ginger and Jeremy married in 2016, and they currently have one daughter. Joseph Duggar explained on his blog that he met Kendra Caldwell through family friends when he visited the Lighthouse Baptist Church in 2012, where his friend Austin Forsyth, Joanna's husband, also worshipped. Joe says he became friends with Kendra's dad before he noticed her, and it was some time before he asked to court her. Joseph and Kendra married in 2017 and now have two kids. Josiah Duggar may have married Lauren in 2018, but they knew each other for much longer than that. Romper reports that Josiah and Lauren were childhood friends, but didn't really connect until a trip to Australia and New Zealand brought them together. They have one girl. Like Josiah and Lauren, Romper says Joanna Duggar and Austin Forsyth had known each other for 15 years before they began their courtship and married in 2017. The couple has one son, and were expecting a second little one before Joanna suffered a miscarriage in July 2019. With 19 kids, 17 grandkids, and still 11 more children to marry off, it's hard not to wonder how Michelle and Jim Bob can keep track of them all. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!